All right, I'm ready to do the glue up on my knife. And so here's the knife, clean, polished, and scuffed a little bit on the handle area. I've got the two finger guards. They're polished on the part that's going to go against the knife so that I don't have to do polish in there with a buffing wheel. So these two are finished. These are the two scales I'm gonna use. And they're marked out one and out two, so I remember which side of the knife to put them on. The blade is also marked out, out one and out two, so I can match those up. I have a mosaic pin that will go into the handle, like so. And then four eighth inch brass pins to go into the handles as well. Okay, then I'm going to mix the two-part epoxies. This is five-minute epoxy, uh, two-ton. And so it gives you about a good five minutes of work time to get the two parts put together. A little alcohol for cleanup, a little cup to mix in, and a stick spatula to spread with. All right. finished this latest knife and uh, it's time to go through what I like to call a hot wash up. That is to take a look at the, the defects in it, what I can go in and fix, repair, and the things that I can't. So this is, this is the first run on this knife. I will go through and uh, do some additional work. So the main things that I see uh, are, I see 220 scratches still on the heads of these pins. I see gaps in the, uh, between the, the handle material and the steel. I see a big scratch on the blade right here. Some of these things can be fixed and some of them can't. So I will do some close-up photos and a time-lapse video as I go through and do this work. So you can see these belts here are very thin. They come in a wave pattern. They're 400 grit and 600 grit. And we're using different wheels to get into the different gaps. Uh, it sounds very simple to say something like, hey, it's better to go to a finer grit because you won't hog off material than to have that situation happen in reality. Uh, what happens is, is you get some dark grooves or some deep cuts and scratches and you have to end up going down to a, a, a harsher grit. Um, but when it comes to bringing it back up all the way through all of the belts and the grits, you have the chance of scarring something, overheating the blade, um, you know, doing something to mess with the heat treatment or ruin an edge by just skimping it across a bolt. So you have to be very careful. These are some of the photographs showing how he fined up any of the deep scratches across some of the bolt areas and into the jimping. This is before and this is after the polish has taken place. So on the hot wash up, some things turned out okay and some things can't be fixed. I did polish down the rivet heads with uh, 400 and then 600 and then the diamond wheel. They turned out really nice. Some of the imperfections in the spine turned out pretty nice. I was not able to get the scratch out of the blade because I'd have to rework the whole blade 
and I just didn't want to take the chance. Uh, the one thing that did not uh, improve was the gap between the steel and the handle material. That was because of a, of a bad glue up. I just uh, did not uh, adequately clamp these two uh, handle grips onto the steel when I glued it up. So there's a gap in there. It's filled in now pretty much with resin and uh, grinding dust, but uh, really it never improved much. But all in all, the knife is a nice, handsome, well-fitting knife for skinning. This is a skinning knife. This is not a combat knife. So for skinning, the jimping here on the thumb and the three fingers, the little finger just kind of holds place, but the main focus of this knife is for skinning. So I think this is a very uh, attractive knife. It feels good in the hand and it's very serviceable.